that's good, right? Yep. Why are you laughing? <laughs> All the, the noises of the microphone getting smacked in No, the it's car. fine. <laughs> right, okay. Our our view our <clears throat> listeners' ears are are immune to such things. Mm-hmm. Put an ear emoji if you got this far. <laughs> So, I, okay, like, like straight up, I was looking at the comments. <laughs> I was too. <laughs> the other day, and I was like, what the fuck are all these skulls? <laughs> I was like, I was like getting angry. Yeah. I was like. <laughs> you didn't remember? No. You forgot? L- listen, listen, I say words, and about three minutes later, those words are completely lost to yeah. the anals of my brain. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go on. No, but seriously, like, I had completely forgotten, and I was like, what the fuck are all these skulls? Like, I was, like, getting, like, yeah, testy. that sounds about right. Yeah, that but, sounds... then I, but then I remembered, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh. Good. Proud of you. Look at these nice folks. <laughs> Speaking of nice folks, what are we talking about today? I honestly... I, you I don't remember? I honestly have deleted it from my bla- <laughs> from my blame. It's gone. We're talking about the epic film, uh, Dead Sushi. Oh, that's right. Which was a oh my gosh, written my skin's already crawling. And directed <laughs> by Noboru Iguchi. We've talked about this person before. Who? Yes, he, he did um, the Machine Girl. He's probably most well known for Machine Girl, which uh, is also available on Tubi. I believe so. We watched Dead Sushi which on Tubi. We yes. Uh, At this moment of this recording, it's available I, in America on Tubi. I want to give the disclaimer: we have not seen the Machine Girl. Um, the Machine Girl is a great musical project that got its name from the movie, but we have not seen the movie. Cause, Got a machine you know. girl. What? <laughs> it's it's a song. Oh. I don't remember who it's by. Which one? It's it's actually Machine Head. I was gonna say by Bush. <laughs> oh Bush, yeah. Yeah. For some reason, I was w. thinking St- Stone Sour. I... Does Stone Sour and Bush have anything to do with each other? I have no idea. Definitely not Coldplay. <laughs> what? That's where my brain went. What can I? What can I say? Uh. Anyway. And uh, he also. Uh, I believe wrote, but definitely directed uh, Ghost Squad, which we covered. Oh yeah, we talked about Ghost Squad a little more than a year ago. There's yep. a whole video essay about it on what? this channel. I, well, it's, it's not. A, it's just us talking about it. It's not an essay. Oh, okay. We, we just talked about that. One. It was a listen. Video. We went through a transitional phase. Things are weird, and I don't <laughs> remember anything from three minutes ago. It was a video stand-up comedy um, performance art piece. What we did? Yeah. No. Because it wasn't no, scripted. No, we didn't. No. We don't do that. What? <laughs> We're not funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a grand old time over here. I don't know what you're talking about. You are, maybe. <laughs> this, this is like your laxative. Every time we record, then you got to go poop. Wow, why did you just call me out like that? Oh, you can delete it. Um, no, I'm not going to. Uh, <laughs> it's too much effort. <laughs> so, dead sushi. We watched it. Oh, we were looking. God. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, hold okay. on. My let, me, skin. let me. I'm trying to do an intro. <laughs> I've been trying to do an intro for five minutes. Actually, you've probably been trying more like 20, but I keep messing it up. <laughs> we, we were looking for. I asked on Twitter when I said, uh, we're doing One Cut of the Dead, what other horror movies should we cover? And so we were like, oh, okay, let's find something. But this particular night, what was this two three nights ago we were not in the mood for like a straight horror movie we were like we want to find a horror comedy kind of like one cut of the dead Mm -hmm. so uh i looked up just lists of like what's streaming in america right now uh for horror comedy filed under japanese and this this came up and i recognized the director's name we both we both liked ghost squad quite a lot from what i remember i mean i don't remember it which means you probably liked it because you generally remember uh, horrible experiences more. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. My entire life is just a memory of my horrible experiences. Wow. I mean, same. But <laughs> um, so we, we gave this a shot. 
And based off of your comments during and after the viewing of this film, I, I don't think that you very much enjoyed it. Would you like, Would uh, is that an accurate statement and would you care to elaborate? I honestly, like, okay, like all jokes aside, yeah. like I've been really goofy. Okay. I'm, I'm getting into the serious pants right now. Yuck. <laughs> okay, it's because I said goofy. <laughs> yep. Okay, okay. Serious pants are on. Serious pants. And you can interpret that as pants or panties, however you want. Wow. Because in in Pants-y. in other places they say pants for your underwear, I think. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, it, they're serious. Whatever. All that down there business is very serious right now. Okay. Okay. Um, this movie was horrible for me to watch. Yeah. Like it was like I had to close my eyes through about. A half of it. Uh, that's fair. I because I can't handle certain visuals, mm-hmm. and the visuals in this were just like like my like I'm like starting to get like that skin prickly feeling, and mm-hmm. like I'm sweating mm-hmm. just thinking about it. It's also probably because we're in a 95 degree closet. Yeah, that could be part of it. I mean, too, I'm, yeah. I'm just gonna, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it so hot in here? I don't know. Uh, anyway, because it's we're in here. Got him. <laughs> nice. Um, anyway, so it's really hard for me to be objective, su- subjective, objective, objective, uh-huh. not subjective <laughs> about, <laughs> about this. <laughs> because uh-huh. I honestly didn't watch most of it. it. I just, it was just, it was just not good from my poor little eyeballs. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I, I think if anybody has any kinds of issues with like you know, clusters of holes mm-hmm. or like any kind of like holy things in bodies mm-hmm. or like, you know, like cracks and things mm-hmm. like maybe don't watch this one or like honeycombs or like all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. If you, if it like barnacles, mm-hmm. if that kind of stuff makes you feel icky, then don't watch this. But I also know that for some pe- reason, people absolutely love looking up stuff that makes them feel that way during October. So mm-hmm. if that's what you're looking for this holiday season, you're in luck because this movie will give you tons of that. Ugh. Fair. Um, so I, I want to go back to something you said a minute ago. So you're talking about if people have an aversion to stigmata, they shouldn't watch this. Because you said, like, holy things in the body. You said something, and you know I don't understand. Oh, I didn't know you didn't know it. I don't know what that means. The bleeding from the hands because of the nails and the cross. Oh, that's what that means. The holy, get it? Because you said holy. Got him. Like Jesus. (laughs) Like Jesus. (laughs) Okay. This is going nowhere. So you... I did not how, like this. How did, how did you feel about it outside of it making... Because, hold on, pause. Okay. One, one second. Rewind. I do want to say, shouts out, um, because obviously people... Some people really like, like, splatter movies like this, like, with just tons of, like, body horror and stuff like that. And I will say, if this is one that you have not seen, uh, but you are a fan of things like uh, Tokyo Gore Police or Suicide Club... Or I'm trying to think of what else he did. But this uh, was the visual effects for this were done by the same guy who did all of those and a ton more. Uh, Yoshihiro Nishimoto. Like, th- it's like his thing is just really gross, over the top um, visual effects. And he's really good at it, clearly. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> so, like, like, it's it did, great in it, that respect. It definitely, yeah. Like, and for I could, how low budget it seemed to and be. And I could tell it was like, yeah. It, like, if you had not, like, how do I put this? I knew it was him without knowing it was him. Right, like, right, stylistically, right, right, right. I could tell. Yeah. You know, so like, no, it definitely fit that like motif. Yeah. I suppose if you want to call so, that. So like, if you're if you're a fan of his other work, and uh, same with Noboru Iguchi, because I think Nishimoto worked on the Machine Girl. I'm not 100 percent sure, but uh, if you're a fan of of that type of stuff and you haven't seen this one, you're definitely gonna like it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and and I, like, it's I, very goofy. Like that's what I want to say. Like even though like I have like this adverse reaction to it, like that's just me personally. Yeah. Um, right. So like the the movie in general, I that's mean, outside of outside of me literally not being able to watch it. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. It was kind of fun. Yeah. Like, okay. I mean, okay. Like there were definitely some parts that were like 
over the top, but like that's part of it, right? Right. Like, like all the like over sexualization of everything. Okay, like, that's that's the main thing I want to talk about. I have not seen a ton of either of these guys' movies. Mm-hmm. This movie is so horny. It's so horny. Like, and I don't know if that's normal for like, them. Even the mutant sushi is horny. Like, oh, God, Everything yeah. is horny in yeah. this movie. Except, like, the main character? Yeah. Like, arguably. Yeah, no, I, she's not really, yeah. Like, she's not super oh, horny. I guess we should probably talk about what this movie's about. <laughs> I mean, dead Oops. sushi. Okay, basically, it's this woman who has a dad who's all, like... What's the word? Patronizing? Yeah. That uh, about how, like, about the fact that she's a woman. Yeah. So, like, she can't do a thing because, right. I don't know, she has a vagina and tits. I don't know. It's fucking stupid. And he's a sushi chef. And he's a sushi chef. She, she, she. And she wants to be, and she's, like, training under him and, like, trying to be the best she can be. Mm-hmm. And then her dad's like, yeah, but you still have a vagina. <laughs> and she's like... Okay, well, fine. Fuck you, Dad. And so she leaves, and she ends up at this hotel, and she gets a job being a host, hostess, host there. Uh, and then shenanigans ensue, in which s- I don't even want. Like, there's so much I don't want to go into it too right. much. But like, shenanigans ensue, ensue, and Sushi becomes undead. Yeah. And attacks everyone. Yeah, basically just. The majority of the movie is in the hotel with the people who are staying at the hotel and the staff getting attacked by sushi. Yeah. And then spoiler and alert. Spoilers. I, this is spoilers for the end of the movie. Uh-huh. And then she comes back and she's like, hey, yo, dad, I have a vagina. And he's like, okay, I guess you can be a chef. Yeah, that's pretty much. Sorry. I had a lot of issue with that whole aspect yeah. of things. I don't like that misogyny. Yeah. But then, But then it was okay. <laughs> but then the misogyny was okay. <laughs> Not the misogyny. <laughs> misogyny is forgiven. No. no. Um. <laughs> Listen, if you, like, are, like, what's the word? Repre- no, I can't think of the word. The, okay. Like, if you, you can be forgiven. But yeah. You, but you have to acknowledge your oh your yeah sins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 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 Jesus with the stigmata. I got oh you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um I do think that this this is the kind of movie that doesn't necessarily lend itself to like really serious discussion. No. I mean I okay, here's the thing that I can say seriously about this movie. It has some very fun and like eclectic cinematic choices that's true and i really really liked the way they framed things and Mm -hmm. the way like they did certain angles and they shot things and like some of the choices they made in pacing like like specifically talking about like the film aspect of it i actually really liked it yeah yeah because uh part of her thing is that uh to like overcome her femininity or whatever the fuck (laughs) her dad has trained her in martial arts from the time that she was like literally a baby Mm -hmm. so there are a lot of action scenes uh there are a lot of fight scenes and they're actually really really creatively done yeah i enjoyed it i mean they're honestly probably some of the best parts in the movie that's what stands out to me actually are those parts um where, where like the fight's going on and like all the different like ways they choose to capture those moments yeah and honestly even the choreography for a lot of them like uh i mean i guess spoiler alert but there's there's one part where she's fighting uh with a bunch of the patrons of the hotel Mm -hmm. and they're all in their like evening wear uh which basically means they're in a robe and they're not wearing anything underneath and uh so she keeps accidentally or maybe on purpose uh, stripping them and using their clothing to fight the other guys and at one point <laughs> at one point uh, she gets a sash wrapped around a guy's foot and he, so he's naked on the floor just like holding his junk to try and keep himself covered and she's just trying to like she's running in a circle dragging him around like a like a freaking spin the bottle in the middle of the floor <laughs> and just trying to clothesline all the other people with his sash it's 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 pretty great. It was it's fun. Yeah, like it's fun in the way movies are supposed to be fun. Yeah, you absolutely. Know? Like they don't have to be, but like 
the, the purpose of a movie is entertainment. And I was mm-hmm. definitely entertained mm-hmm. for the parts that I could watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, if you don't have any of that type of, like, aversion uh, to those, that type of imagery, uh, this would be a good, like, group movie. You know, yeah, it's, it's really, it, like, low effort. It doesn't... You, you don't have to, like, think super hard, and it's really fun. Yeah, I think, like... Or, like, you could probably have a drinking game, mm-hmm. or, like, this would be a good, like, party movie. Yeah. But this is definitely not one that you, like, sit down with, you know, <laughs> to, like, sit down with the fam and the popcorn. Like, my mom would hate oh, this yeah. movie. But your dad would probably really like it. Maybe. He'd probably think it was pretty funny. He might. And then at the end, he'd be like, well, that was fucking stupid. Yeah. But he, but he wouldn't but during, be mad about while it. While he was watching it, he would like it. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I, I hesitate to recommend this to anyone mm-hmm. unless you, like, know what you're getting into. Like, unless yeah. you know the director yeah, yeah, or yeah, you yeah. know the art style. Yeah. You know, because it's it's pretty dumb. Yeah. It's pretty dumb. But it's pretty fun. But it's pretty fun. Yeah. If you can watch it. There you go. I, I don't know. Do you have well, much what did else you, to what say? What did you think of it? Like, oh. I, don't, I feel like I don't know what you thought of it. I, I don't know what I thought. <laughs> no, I I I think you pretty much covered it. I think it was a lot of fun. Um I don't necessarily have any of those like visual aversions um d- like necessarily. Like generally speaking, body horror doesn't really bother me and like holes and stuff like that don't really bother me that mm-hmm. much. So, I thought a lot of the special effects were pretty impressive. A lot of the um, like the, you were saying, the cinematography the, the was really impressive. The guy with his face getting pulled was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I liked yeah. that. I thought that was... I thought... Yeah. I don't I don't know. Like, people are going to be like, this looks stupid and fake. Like, yeah. I don't know. But I liked it. It reminded yeah. me of... Um, uh, oh, man. What is that? Uh, oh, crap. Which one? The one where they're in the house and the, the statue is, like, all over the place. And then there's a painting. Sweet Home? Yeah, Sweet Home. Yeah. 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 It reminded me of Sweet yeah, Home. Yeah, I can, I can see that. That particular, like, right. effect. Right. No, I can see that. Um, but, yeah, overall, I think I think it was a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, I think it'd be a good, like, party movie or, like, a good, like, group viewing. It's Yeah, it's one of those movies where it's, like, you you watch it because you know it's going to be bad. And I don't mean, right. I don't mean bad. Mm-hmm. Like, it's it's a good movie, but it's, it's just dumb, you know? Yeah. Like, like... I don't want to. I don't want to compare it because I don't want to make it. I don't know. I, I was gonna say like the room or uh, okay or like the Bad Ben series. Oh yeah, or, yeah. You know, like honestly, honestly, I think in a way it's kind of comparable to to Bad Ben because it's very clear that at least the majority of the people involved with this really cared about what they were doing, mm-hmm. but they also recognized at the same time that it was like it's not like high art yeah like, and so they just like leaned into that they and it's had great. fun with it like that's exactly. that's what i'm saying like i yeah. love movies where it's like honestly like one cut of the dead yeah where like they they're aware mm-hmm. like it's self-aware it's self-aware of how like i don't want to say poo poo caca it is <laughs> <laughs> it's poo poo caca right right but it's not though like it's hard no. like i i don't know like I don't know what word to use to like. It's got a lot of heart, even if it's not high art. Boom, got Damn. him. You just like, got him. Poetry and everything. Yeah, wow. man. Yeah. It's like off the cuff. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Thanks for listening. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, I. Do you, do you have more that you want to discuss with this? I think this one. Uh, honestly, as soon as we finished watching it, I was like, "This is going to be a short episode." Yeah, I mean, like. Did I appreciate the hypersexuality, you know, mm-hmm. like, no, mm-hmm. because sex is disgusting, <laughs> but, I mean, fair, but like, at the same time, I'm sure, like, it's, it's very fan servicey. Oh, you actually, you know what I thought of about what? like the way that it's, which is, it's, it's applicable. It hmm. reminded me of Food Wars. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It totally reminded me of Food Wars. Yeah. That anime. Yeah. And I didn't watch Food Wars. I started watching Food Wars and Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't. This is just too much. Because it was too too horny. It was too horny. I don't like things being horny because Mm -hmm. I don't get horny. So (laughs) I don't understand it. (laughs) But it's like, I definitely was like getting a Food Wars vibe. And like, like, obviously there's food in this. And it's about like 
good food and things like that. But like, so you're saying there's a food horniness conspiracy? Going yeah. On. Well, there's there aren't like orgasms though. The food is not orgasmically no. good, right? The way it is in food wars. No, I definitely got the feeling in this that nine times out of ten, when there was a joke about somebody being horny, it was they were the butt of the joke and not. It wasn't just like. Bro, look at these sweet tits. It, it was like the whole joke was that they were horny. And oh, oh, you, you I know see what, what I'm saying? you're saying. Yeah, it wasn't like just to be like, hey, well, look at there boobs. was like this one this one time where this lady's like dying in front of this guy. Yes, she's dying for like five minutes, and the entire time he's like contemplating whether or not he's gonna touch her tits. Yeah, and he's got his hands out. And he's like, this is my like, last opportunity. I, she's gonna die. She's. It, I she, might as well. She, she's gonna die, so she's no one's gonna know. You know, right? And it's like this whole like. Which was kind of funny because it was, like, this, like, cyclical, like, talking about, like, anxiety. Like, I could go really deep into, like, talking about this movie, but Mm -hmm. I don't think I need to because I don't think that was the point. Yeah. But, like, it was really funny. And then only once there's, like, blood all over her tits, she's like, ew, gross. Now the tits are gross. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Exactly. So. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's tropey. Maybe, you know, like, maybe it's, like, kind of dumb, but... It's the kind of, like, fun dumb that, like, that's the kind of stuff that you watch during this, like, October. Oh, yeah. We're recording this in a right, right before the spooky, scary season. So that's why I'm saying that. But if you happen to be watching this in March, just remember that every season is the spooky, scary season and Halloween is forever. Yep. Because death comes for us all. And that's spooky. And scary. (laughs) And and every season, <laughs> and every moment was that. Of, w- did of I go every day. too hard with that? Was that? No. Okay. I just. I, I mean, maybe I don't want to bring the mood. So. Da- I don't want to bring the mood down. I. You're the one bringing the mood down. I don't. By I, mentioning bringing the mood down. All right. Put a mood down emoji. And what does that mean? Interpret that as you will, and put that in there <laughs> if you got this far in the podcast. Oh my god. Um, okay, or put a four leaf clover. Also, with that. Or a jack o' lantern. Uh, honestly, or your a pick. rainbow. Your pick. <laughs> <laughs> um, if if you're listening to this like right when it went up, um, I am once again asking for suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but like, okay, we have like a few. We have a few weeks. Um, right. Of October. Yes, and we want to do. We want to do a, more horror movies. More horror movies. Maybe a horror series? Probably not. We we don't have time to do that, but maybe we do. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But but see, it's really frustrating because there's definitely a movie that would be perfect, but it's not Japanese. Oh, that's right. Maybe we can do a bonus episode where we talk about it. Cause why not? It's... I mean, our April Fools episodes always used to be a different, a, a different yeah. nationalities. Well, I don't know. Well, we'll see. But yeah, if you have, if you suggestions, have suggestions, let us know. Because uh, I kind of slacked this week and we didn't record this until like two days before it goes up. Oops. Not even. Like 40 hours, maybe. Wow. So uh, we need more movies to watch for October. Which we'll watch in the first week of October. <laughs> yep. So let us know below. Um, do you have anything else you want to add? Um, eat your vegetables. Yeah, that's important. Mm -hmm. Fruit, too. Yep, especially the eggplant. Mm. Eat that eggplant. Is eggplant a fruit or a vegetable? It's a fruit, isn't it? Because it has seeds inside. Well, that's like one of those things where, like, (sighs) tomato is, like, the honorary vegetable, but it's technically... No, it's a fruit. It's a fruit. It's it's a fruit. I know, it has seeds in it. Yeah. Yeah. But that means an avocado is a fruit. Yeah. Look, there is a whole world of fruits that are not sweet. But we have just assigned that other oh, nature's candy, so you know. I hated that. I, you know what I hate? What? Myself. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I hate when we don't have an end to the podcast. I <laughs> hate the saying that uh, knowledge is knowing tomato is a fruit, and wisdom is knowing it doesn't go in a fruit salad. I I hate that saying. Because of the, I have a negative association with the first person I ever heard that saying from. Your dad? No. Oh. You think I hate my dad? (laughs) (laughs) All right. That's a joke. Everybody, thank you for listening (laughs) to our thrilling 
deep expose I love on how we dead did, sushi. Mostly didn't talk about dead sushi. Look, all right. Sometimes this is, this is what this podcast is, y'all. Like, look, lo- love it or hate it. This is I love it. We have fun where we we stopped having fun with the old show, so it's very important yeah, that we're I, doing it this way. <laughs> I thought you were saying we had fun because we stopped having fun. <laughs> like, well, no, no. It, with the old show, yeah, it was just getting tedious. Yeah, and this yeah. is like not. Also, I'll say burnout's real. Oh well, okay, burnout's real. But also, I saw this thing uh, when I was spending my weekly five minutes on Twitter a couple weeks ago. Where uh, May Leitz, who, if you, if, I mean, if you don't follow her and you follow this channel, like, what, what's your problem? Especially if you're watching a, a horror-based episode here. Mm-hmm. But she said something about how everybody complains that she doesn't do video essays anymore about movies. But the copyright shit on YouTube, people might have stopped complaining about it after, you know, like, 2017, 2018, oh, it's... it didn't get better. No. It got worse. It's bad. And she's it... like, why would I spend that much time making a half-hour uh, video essay to have it spend a month or more in limbo because yep. of copyright yeah. when I could instead much more quickly make an hour's worth of content that I'm happier with and that doesn't get caught up in copyright? Yeah. Honestly, like, same. Same. Yeah. Like, it's just it's just not worth it, y'all. Like, so. Maybe if enough of you were like, hey, we'll support you on Patreon, you know, or something yeah. like that, where you could like, yeah, I mean, like, f- like financially support us doing it without us having to worry about right. the kind of repercussions that would come from it. Sure. Maybe. That's not me saying I want you to do that no. at all. That's not me saying you need to pay and- or anything like that. But I'm just saying like, like it's, it, co- it comes down to like weighing what makes you happy yeah, and like what's feasible for what you're able to do. And this is the way it is. And yeah. frankly, like we're happy with it. And, and we're not we're not we're not calling anybody out or anything. No. We're no. just explaining. Because no. yeah. I don't think we ever have really explained So here's the super secret so, bonus yeah. special of Dead Sushi episode. So that's Dead Sushi. This is Cinema Nippon. It's it's gonna be great. October is gonna be great. We're gonna find three more Watch winners us, watch us not watch any more in all of october there's just not nothing. we do, no that's, we just that's, we do dead sushi part two that's the scary, wait there's a second one no oh. we just continue talking about nothing <laughs> and we just act like maybe we'll actually talk about a movie next time we talked about a movie this time we did yeah okay good night everyone thank you for listening if you're on youtube don't forget we're on spotify the link is in the description if you're on spotify we're also on youtube the link is also in the description. And, uh, yeah, let us know what you thought of We have of all Dead those Sushi. video essays, essays that we hated making. Yep. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we had fun making them, but yeah. it came to a point that we had to stop. But yeah. there are many of them available on YouTube. And if you get an ad on one of them, it's a 50-50 shot. We're going to get paid for that. Yeah. The other 50 is that some random distributor in like italy or canada is going to get paid for it instead so so yeah feel free to skip the ads we don't care no not really (laughs) (laughs) anyway thank you for listening everybody and we will see you next week when we talk about dead sushi again uh it'll if if you see dead sushi part two come out next sunday put dead sushi in the comments oh yeah yeah like the emoji yeah like yeah a skull and then sushi oh not more skulls i mean If you see Dead Sushi Part 2 go up, know it's a little inside joke. And we're not talking about a movie, we're just talking about random bullshit again. (laughs) 